we're the Master Brothers, and today we're going to review the Tesla white interior. We're going to break it down using our master rating, so stay to the end to see how well it does. And if you want to learn what the master rating is, check out our website. We'll leave a link in the description. So let's get into it. Now for money, in the Model 3 and Model Y, you only get two choices of interior, either black or white. And the black interior comes for free, included as standard with the car, and the white interior is an extra £1,100, or $1,000. So yeah, in the UK it's a lot more expensive. Yeah. And in terms of maintenance, you'll pretty much just be using alcohol-free wipes, which you can get for £7 or like $10. Now for aesthetic, we're going to break it down into the seats and the dashboard and door accents. So overall the seats are pretty standard looking in general and that's for the both black and white interior. They're not super sporty or anything like that. So getting them in white does make it a bit more interesting. It, it adds a bit of a pop obviously, it just really stands out. Yeah and it really does pop, it is pure white. And we've had the car for 9 months and we've driven over 9,000 miles. And of course, it's faded out a little bit, but it was so pure white before that it's still super white now. Yeah, like even on the passenger seat and the driver's seat where we sit the most, there's a bit of rubbing off from like the, the dye in our jeans, but even then the seats are still really, really white, so it's not a huge issue. Yeah. And also inside the interior, there are a lot of darker bits, so the center console is all pretty dark. The, the dashboard and door accents, which we'll get into in a second, they're also dark, so it's not like the white is completely overwhelming. But it all depends on your personal taste, obviously. Now for the dashboard, the main part of it is pure white. And we've heard complaints about people saying that, oh, when it's really bright outside, the sunlight reflects off of that big white bit and is really distracting while driving. But to be honest, we live in the UK, there's not much sun and we really haven't experienced that much. Yeah, it's probably just because of the weather here, but if you're in a sunnier country, it might be an issue, so just something to think about. Now for the door accents, there is a bit of white in there if you go for the white interior, and it does look kind of cool. Ours looks a bit weird, but with the newer Model 3s, they've now refreshed it, so it definitely flows on a bit better from that dashboard, and it all kind of integrates a bit better, so if you're getting a brand new one, it looks really nice. Oh, I actually forgot to mention, on the dashboard, on that main white bit, dust really settles on there, and then you can see it quite clearly. And I'm assuming on the black interior, that wood part, you wouldn't really see it. Yeah, that's but, true. Yeah, you can see dust quite clearly on there. You can always wrap it as well. There's a lot of like places on Amazon and stuff where you can just get a vinyl thing and stick it on there. Now for scents, we're going to split it up into comfort and practicality. Now obviously, this applies to both the black interior and the white interior. So the front seats are really comfy, they've got some sort of foam material that makes them quite squishy but also supportive at the same time, so yeah, they're pretty good for long journeys. However, it's a bit of a different story in the back. Because of the batteries, the floor height is pretty high, so you have a bit of a gap between your thighs and the seat, which is okay on decently long journeys, but I think after a while it is uncomfortable. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do a massive road trip sitting in the back. Now in terms of practicality, the white is definitely a lot less practical than the black interior. And that's just because the white interior shows any sort of dirt, any crumbs that get into the cracks or any sort of like mud stain or dirt or anything. It'll just show up and really, really stick out like a sore thumb. So you do have to keep it pretty clean. Yeah, we'd recommend cleaning it at least once a month. And I mean, if you have a big accident, then clean it pretty much immediately. But I think the seats are quite well protected so that you can leave stuff there for a certain amount of time. But if you're generally quite clean with your cars, that shouldn't be an issue. Now for technology, both the black and the white interior are made from vegan leather, including the steering wheel, the door inserts, and all of that other stuff. It's all vegan leather, which is just a fancy term for plastic, basically. But it's pretty soft, it's quite nice. It is quite a nice material, and pretty durable as well. There's also some sort of protective coating on it, which isn't really noticeable, but it definitely does help to keep the seats pretty clean, which is good when you've got a white interior. If you get the standard range plus, only the front seats come as heated, but if you get the long range or performance models, both the front and the rear seats come as heated, including the middle seat. Yeah, and obviously that's for both the black and the white interior as well. Yeah, and the heated seats are super hot. Yeah, they, in, on the highest setting they get really, really warm. 
The front seats are also power adjustable and with adjustable lumbar support, and with driver profiles you can save your exact seating position in the driver's seat, as well as your mirrors and steering wheel and a whole bunch of other things. And if you want to learn more about the driver profiles, check out our video, we'll put it up there. Now for emotion, overall the white interior is kind of cool, but I do think I would have preferred the understatedness of the black interior. I think. The white interior is just so noticeable from the outside, like, it's just, it's really obvious and everyone kind of looks in, which, if you want that from your car, then fine, but for me, I think I would probably have preferred the black interior, and maybe going for a bit of a cooler exterior paint colour, so maybe like the blue or the red. Okay, yeah, I could agree with that, but I don't think the white interior makes people look in, and I quite like, it's, it's so bright and airy that it kind of, yeah, it makes the car feel a bit more open, it adds a bit of pop, it's so unique, because I think the exterior styling is pretty bland to be honest. It's pretty simple, but I think the white interior really pops and is, yeah. That's true, it does, it does add that extra bit of flair to it. Yeah, 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 which I quite like. Cleaning it is a pain, and yeah, we should do it more often, but I still love it. And we actually don't even clean it that often, and it still does look pretty decent, so it's not like you have to keep it ultra clean. Yeah, and we even have a dog as well, Yeah. so yeah, he can make it dirty, but it's pretty easy to clean when we do have to clean it. Yeah. Now for our final rating. I gave it a 37 out of 50. And I gave it a 33 out of 50, giving us a final master rating of 70 out of 100. So it's good, but it's not great or amazing. I think Teslas are a bit notorious for poor interior quality. But I think the white interior is so unique that it kind of makes up for that. Yeah, in some senses it does a little bit. It is it is good. I wouldn't say it's like amazing and you have to get it, but if you if you like it and you're into it, then it's definitely worth considering. I don't think it's like there's so many issues with it that you definitely shouldn't go for it. Yeah, and you'll get the same issues in terms of quality with the black interior and white interior. So at the end of the day, it's up to your taste really. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe because it really helps us grow our channel. That's all from the Master Brothers. We'll, we'll catch, catch you on the flippity flip. flip. That was it. That's fair. That's it.